Welcome to this uh, computer system. It's actually the one that's going to be released in a few days. It's going to be the March release and uh, third version, but it's um, also available right now. Why is that? Um, a few minutes ago, somebody asked on Facebook, what is rolling, right? So there are these Linux distributions where you have a release every six months and you have long-term support releases and all that and they go back five years or something like it. You don't ever, you don't have to reinstall it. It just updates all the time. But that after five years, the support uh, stops. So that's another vision, another idea. Arch Linux and Arch Linux in, in, as a result, because it's based on Arch Linux, is rolling. It means, yes, we make ISOs. Yes, Arch Linux makes ISOs every month. We make an ISO, so does Arch Linux. But the idea is, once you install it, you keep updating and keep changing and keep manipulating configs, but basically your hard disk, once formatted and installed, just stays the same and you update stuff. That's rolling. So that means if you have now an Arch Linux B plasma or even Arclix D plasma, plasma for short, then when you type updates, you'll get some changes in. And what are those changes? That's the topic of the video. At this point in time, there are an, it's a majority of changes and of a day's work, and let's have a look at it. Well, if you do an update, right? Control T, do an update, talking about Control Alt etc. Oops, that's me. So first time ever I typed update on the system. So there you go. The system has just been built. It's 1803, built an hour ago. So yes, no updates available, of course. But there are some stuff from AOR that uh, need to be updated. That's for sure. Vivaldi is doing his job. So let's put him on the other screen. Doesn't matter. Just updating. So how can we have a look at the system? Well, with super shift return, there you go. This is new, the keyboard shortcuts are in. I have made a adaptation, it's also wobbly. So these little small things that I was missing in the configurations are now in. Let's go over the details. So basically everything that's installed on your system is gonna be found or will be found in etc scale it's always the same thing whatever desktop you're on etc scale is that important that you put it in here in your sidebar now if you don't see anything that's normal Control h right so Control h is making sure that you see something the hidden folders all with dots in front meaning you don't see it if you don't press Control h the bash rc all this is normal I believe this is new X resources because of my intention to have Super T and Super T is the URXVT since we have bought Seedhost, our uh, distribution center of all the software. Well, we need to have an, a proper terminal and URXVT is it for the contacting SSH to the uh, to Seedhost. So what else? Nothing changed here either. No, I don't think so. There is this kwin thing, yeah, but it's not changed. What else? In the .config, there are some things changed. Let's have a look. So there's this wobbly thing. If you, you like it or you hate it, I particularly like it and I miss it if it's not there. But let's start with the kwin rc. So this is a new file. And what's happening? Well, four things to have four workspaces, but not four workspaces like that horizontally. It's in two rows, which makes it more interesting, I believe, and smaller and in effect here at the bottom. What else is important? So number four, two rows. And then if you scroll over your desktop, watch the left uh, bottom here, you see that when I scroll over the desktop, we switch screens and not via cube, which was making me sick and all that. This is just simple fade away, fade in, fade out. So all the settings are in here. Cube is enabled. 
So control F11 is the cube, but I have two screens. So the cube is divided over two screens and you see half a cube. You can change it, enabled, fine. Dim screen enabled, also interesting. An interesting option is that you go for uh, Gparton, for instance. If we try that again, Gparton, there you are. <coughs> Everything becomes a little bit darker around because there's a pop-up of the root. So if you're working on two screens and you're working to the left and, and say what's happening, what's happening, while well, everything becomes dark, you need to have a look at the other screen. Somebody is asking here your password. And that's it. Then, um, so then Wobbly Win is enabled. This goes together with the other one, I believe. So that's okay. Rollover desktop is true. And double clicking on the bar is going to make it big. So that's all Quinn RC. I'm letting you see the back end of your system because it's all, of course, in a keyboard shortcut, Control Alt M. So that's the system settings. And the system settings are here. There's the same button. But now we have keyboard shortcuts. And all the shortcuts, by the way, are here. You can apply them or disable them, enable them. It's up to you. All right, apply. So the K splash, the splash thing, we got rid of the splash thing. What's the splash thing? So Control Alt M, you can have a look at the workspace theme and the splash theme, the plasma theme, sorry, splash screen is now none. So I don't want to have the breeze or anything. I just want a fast system up and running in no time. That's what we need, all the flashy things. You want to set it back up, click here, apply, done. It's back, as simple as that. So that's the K-Splash. The KSM Server RC. This was bugging me for real. I mean, Control alt m again. If you go to the startup shutdown desktop session, start with an empty session. That's what it does. If you do this setting, then this line comes up and that's the line I want because this line is not a line I want this line is going to be to change the, the data hidden here. And I don't want that. I want to have a login mode default, meaning no restoration of previous sessions. So if, if five windows are open, you shut down, you boot back up, every window is back open. I don't want that. So if you do want that, restore previous session. That's that. Console RC, let's open it up. Our console is Ctrl T. This is console. All right, it says up here, console. It says in here. And we've made a specific Arch Linux profile. So the look that we have is a um, written somewhere else. It's written in the user share console. In here, there's information about your console. You want Arc Dark, otherwise this will not have a dark look. This would, would look differently with the fonts and the file packs and terminals, history, etc. All the settings of our console are in there. I suppose I close this. Okay. So going back, going back, going back. I was in here. And then this was taking for ages and hours and hours. But it's successful, it's, it's there, it's a lot. It's all the keyboard shortcuts that we have on XFC, like an open box, like i3, BSPWM, and latest I've made the keyboard shortcuts for um, deeping, which was super easy. Well, this was then super difficult. Anyway, it's in there, which means this is the file, but the file, you don't need to know the file, you just go to system settings and you say, look, I'm missing a few more custom shortcuts, other clinics. So you can make other ones if you want to edit new global shortcut command URL, and then you make a new um, keyboard shortcut. But they're all in here, you can change them as well. If you don't like this trigger, Alt T, you don't like the keyboard shortcut, change the keyboard shortcut, the action is variety minus T and so on, Firefox, Control F, you, you like Super F or something, 
I don't know, change it in here. But we have uh, put the majority of the keyboard shortcuts that we have on all the keyboards are in there. That's that. This comes from other packages. 6FC is still the same, the same, the same. QT5CT, I don't know what version you run, but at some point in time we've made a specific QT5CT specifically just for uh, Plasma. So these settings are Plasma settings, not uh, the other one, because there are two packages. Plank is another package, NeoFetch, everything is still normal. This is changed because of the fact that we want to have Sardi icons now with Sardi Arc here. That's the proper thing, line seven is defining in GTK3 the look because basically this look comes from QT5 so it comes from what you're looking at is defined in here Genie, Conky and Auto Start still the same so basically those were the changes I um, hope you like it and um, well before you update maybe a good thing always is this quick copy paste why not I've been doing all morning a copy pastes to figure out what changes when I press this button what changes when I press this button where is the setting so if you've been working in your dot config and then I think mostly also local but um, mostly 99% of changes go in here so control C control V that's all you need to do and you say this is mine right and then a scale an update comes in when you do an update some information says hey we put some data in your scale what do you do you do a scale and maybe first a backup scale why not backup scale also possibility so you have the contents of your old scale in there and then you can compare if you do another backup scale a week later you have two backup scales and with right mouse click you can always have a look and see what changed compare the files don't uh, well this this is not well the message is clear it's identical but I wanted to say if there are uh, normally it starts up with an error so click it away and it will open up and you can uh, look at the differences personally I do prefer prefer to work with melt since melt lets you uh, edit things in this way with this program you can't edit anything that one but melt is present all right, that's um, the new updates that uh, will come shortly to your system once you do an update. It's March the 4th. Cheers.